In today's video, we are going to be reversing the idea from the previous video. In the prior video, which I can show you here real fast, we were taking verbal expressions and writing them algebraically. And you can see today's examples are all algebraic expressions and the directions are to write them verbally. Now, you saw in yesterday's video a bunch of different expressions, things like product, to tell us multiplication, or more than, or less than, or sum, and difference, as some of the other words to be used for addition and subtraction. You may absolutely use those words and phrases. However, there's a much simpler option when it comes to writing out verbal expressions, and that's just to use the words plus, minus, times, and divided by. So as we go over these, I'm going to be writing down the most basic option. But I will verbalize or say out loud some of the other options available to you. But again, I cannot stress enough, please just take the simple option. It'll get you the problem right versus taking a risk of using something like more than or less than and accidentally getting the order of the numbers wrong. So... Simplest option, 17 minus 7. Alternatives, 7 less than 17, 7 fewer than 17, the difference of 17 and 7. Notice if you listen back to those, I'm changing the order in which I say the 17 and the 7. Whereas 17 minus 7 is very straightforward, no questions, you're literally writing down exactly what you see. Easiest path. And number 12, we have 8 divided by 2. Again, remembering that we use fraction bars to show division. That's how I knew this was a division statement. The only fancier way to say this is to say the quotient of 8 and 2. And you want to go for that? That one's not so bad. You really aren't going to mess up the order of a division statement. But again, still, I recommend just sticking with the easy option. For number 13, we have n plus 8. Your other options could be something like the sum of n and 8. 8 added to n. 8 more than n. 8 greater than n. But n plus 8 is nice and simple. Four plus k, well, right there. Four plus k. Why do anything crazier? And number fifteen. Remembering that we just see a number and a letter directly attached. There's no visible operation. I do not see something that says to add or subtract or multiply or divide. There is one instance where an operation gets to be invisible. And that is when a number and a variable are multiplied. So 10n is 10 times n. And you'll probably hear me say this in a future video or two. I am recording these in summer, so I'm at home. My dog is currently on alert and watching the front of the house to make sure that nobody does anything they shouldn't be doing. So you will occasionally hear him bark during these videos, there's nothing I can do about it. We'll just keep working and let him do his protecting. At this point, you've seen an example of every possibility. So I invite you to pause this video and go ahead and attempt the last five problems. I'm going to write down the simplest version of the answer, but as I'm doing so, I will say some more advanced options. Oh, and by the way, for number 15, I forgot more advanced, if you want to be fancy, the product of 10 and n. But 10 times n is fine. All right, so 16, we have q divided by 6. We could also say the quotient of q and 6. We have 44 divided by 4 in number 17. We could also say the quotient of 44 and 4. 
7 plus 7 in number 18. The sum of 7 and 7. 7 more than 7. 7 greater than 7. 7 added to 7. Lots of options here. And this one is going to be really hard to mess up since everybody is 7. And number 19, we have 33 divided by k. Quotient of 33 and k. And we have 19 minus 15 for number 20. We could alternatively say the difference of 19 and 15, 15 less than 19, 15 fewer than 19.